Yes, welcome back to Entrepreneurship Tuesday. This is our second segment of the special thanks to Alex for that informative interview uh, with the graffiti art. I go by the name of Bayou Moses or it's Bayou More Navy social media platform and it's always a pleasure. It's time for the moment of truth and today I have something special for the queens out there. You know I have a special spot in my head for the queens. So in studio with me is Mary Wambui and she's the chair. Huh? Mary Mudoni, rather. She's the chair of women in business. Karibu sana. All right, I'm so very sorry for that, uh, Miss. Uh, but your camera is number four. Nothing if works. I missed anything in the intro, uh, anything in your credentials, I give you a chance to say, it, right? Uh, oh my goodness, you mm -hmm. want me to introduce myself? Mm -hmm. Not Mary Mudoni, mm -hmm. my name. Uh -huh. um, I am in business. Mm -hmm. I run a school called uh, St. Petro Premier School. Mm -hmm. I share the caucus for the women in business. Mm -hmm. Um, which I'm very passionate about, mm -hmm. empowering women, uh, mm -hmm. left, right, and center. Mm -hmm. um, I'm the vice chair of Kirinyaga Investment and Development Authority, mm -hmm. um, a board that uh, deals with uh, investments. Um, I'm the devolution warrior mm -hmm. <laughs> for 2017. Mm -hmm. um, Voted. <laughs> <laughs> through, well, the one way. through the Council uh -huh. of Governors. Mm -hmm. Yes. Uh, vetted, mm -hmm. voted, mm -hmm. and awarded. Mm -hmm. um, I've sat in several boards, mm -hmm. uh, one being the recent, the National uh, Chamber of Commerce Board, mm -hmm. National Board, mm -hmm. the Tobacco Control Board, we are the ones who stopped you sp from smoking shisha. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> I bet you made some enemies <laughs> over, <laughs> but we can get it. So let me keep that away mm -hmm. before I make so many enemies already. <laughs> but it's a good thing. It's a good thing to yeah. the side. Sometimes people need some guidance. Mm -hmm. I'm a mother. Mm -hmm. I have four children mm -hmm. and my very good husband, Jason. Mm -hmm. And um, I love doing business. You love doing business. I love mentoring. Mm -hmm. I love winning. Mm -hmm. I just love success. You love success <laughs> and you definitely yes. love helping other people yes. to win as well. Yes. Yes. So I, you I, get I, 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 I go with the quote that mm -hmm. when you walk together mm -hmm. you go really far. All right. When you walk alone, you get tired along the way mm -hmm. and you can almost collapse. Now so, you get my point why I wanted you to introduce yourself. There's no way I could have gotten <laughs> all of that. But anyway, the reason we're here today, uh, we're going to be talking about the women in business, uh, yes. the women in business in Kenya in particular, yes. and the opportunities that lie for them uh, yeah. after devolution, after the promulgation of the yes. new constitution. Yes. All right, so uh, as a woman in business first, do you think the environment is conducive for a woman today to do business in Kenya? Mm. Absolutely, we've mm -hmm. moved steps, mm -hmm. and you can see from the index that uh, you move from uh, number 156, we are now at I think number 50. Mm -hmm. and, you know, uh, so globally, we have really taken strides. Uh, locally, we are taking strides. This mm -hmm. week, there's the Kenya Trade Week. Mm -hmm. uh, if you want to, you can go to KICC. There's a lot to learn from there. Mm -hmm. So, really, the environment is right. Mm -hmm. And uh, we are moving steps every mm -hmm. other day. Mm -hmm. Although you will not miss those bottlenecks, mm -hmm. but um, we are human beings. All right. We keep moving. We keep changing. We keep mm -hmm. uh, the dynamism. Mm -hmm. Kaizen. Mm -hmm. Every other day. What a time yes. to be alive in Kenya <laughs> right now. Anyway, uh, so the Women in Business is registered as an organization yes. uh, in this country. Uh, whose brainchild was this? This is um, a brainchild of myself and mm -hmm. other women mm -hmm. who felt that uh, there's need to have a platform for mm -hmm. networking for women. Mm -hmm. And uh, I say we have a Bible that we carry mm -hmm. personally. Mm -hmm. When I speak to the women every now and then, mm -hmm. and I talk about three M's, mm -hmm. triple M's. Mm -hmm. I talk about money, mm -hmm. I talk about markets, mm -hmm. and I talk about mentorship. Mm -hmm. The other pillar would be policy and advocacy. Mm -hmm. Why these three? Mm -hmm. Because um, any person who is doing business, mm -hmm. whether it is a passion, mm -hmm. social, mm -hmm. a spiritual, or inheritance, inheritance, mm -hmm. it's about money. You money is make, motive at the end of the day. You want to make some finances, mm -hmm. you want to make some little money. To, to, to ensure that you, you, you're keeping to, um, you, you have food, you have basic needs, mm -hmm. you know. Even that mama who is selling, mm -hmm. 
she wants to make 100, 200, 1,000. Mm -hmm. And grow it tomorrow. And grow it more. Mm -hmm. you see? So we have to educate mm -hmm. women, mm -hmm. the youth, mm -hmm. or the special groups mm -hmm. to ensure that they are taking this to another level, mm -hmm. you know? That you do not start as an MSME mm -hmm. and at the end of the day, in, uh, after five years, mm -hmm. you're still there. Mm -hmm. You have to create that impact mm -hmm. to ensure that you move to another level. Mm -hmm. Then, um, markets. Mm -hmm. It is the market that you get that brings the money home. Mm -hmm. When you keep expanding your markets, mm -hmm. you keep getting more money. Mm -hmm. You see? Mm -hmm. When you get networked, you see? When you introduce, for instance, you go to the counties, mm -hmm. you introduce the inter-county trade, mm -hmm. you're introducing mm -hmm. greater markets for these people, mm -hmm. for the women. 16.5 mm -hmm. million Kenyans mm -hmm. are SMEs. More of them are women. You see? Mm -hmm. So that means most of people the bigger who are in business, of, uh, the a people. bigger percentage mm -hmm. of the business people mm -hmm. in Kenya today mm -hmm. are women mm -hmm. and the youth. So you cannot ignore this segment mm -hmm. and say that uh, b y y you, you do not have the market. Mm -hmm. We have 49 million people. Mm -hmm. That is market mm -hmm. for your products. Already. Already. Mm -hmm. That's market for your products. Mm -hmm. Before you even go to Uganda, mm -hmm. you have 49 million. Or Tanzania. Oh, Tanzania. Mm -hmm. huh? And you know I yeah? mentioned Tanzania. <laughs> <laughs> but yes. Actually, uh -huh. <laughs> uh -huh. um, Then after markets, mm -hmm. you have mentors. Mm -hmm. There are those people you admire. Mm -hmm. Today, you have young men and women who follow you. Mm -hmm. Religiously. Because they believe you have something that mm -hmm. gives, keeps them moving. Mm -hmm. They believe in you. Mm -hmm. They are those traits that they have, uh, they, they feel that mm -hmm. this guy, uh -huh. uh, I would want to be him. Mm -hmm. So you have those mentors also in business. Mm -hmm. Yeah, There are those people you look up to. You know, I keep dreaming also mm -hmm. that uh, maybe one day my business will grow to like uh, uh, the bid course uh -huh. you know uh -huh. like the carriages uh -huh. yeah big businesses uh -huh. billionaires uh -huh. you know big corporate. We, we all we all have those dreams yeah even me at my level at my SME level uh -huh. I'm still dreaming that I'm also going to be there one day the people at the bottom, the startups, mm -hmm. they are dreaming they can be me one day. Mm -hmm. yeah. So there's and always is, somebody to yes. look up to. It is for us now to work on that mentoring line to mm -hmm. ensure that our youths and women mm -hmm. have risen to that level. Why? Why women? Mm -hmm. And this I'll be very, uh, I'm very fond about mm -hmm. it. Because very the fond. challenges, fond. Oh, very fond. Oh. The, the, the challenges that women go through in business mm -hmm. and the youths are so many vis-a-vis mm -hmm. -vis, yeah, mm -hmm. any other gender. Mm -hmm. Number two, most of the businesses that women have started, mm -hmm. especially when uh, the, we didn't have the bill, you can regis register a company alone, mm -hmm. we start with our partners. So you find that when the police, there's a policy discussion, me, I'll be left in the shop and my husband will go to state house. Mm -hmm. You see? So, so at the end of the day, I, I will not network myself or I'll not have that uh, platform to get to know what happens beyond. Yeah? And that's why you realize most businesses collapse when one partner dies. Mm -hmm. They don't, sometimes they don't progress because one was an instruction mm -hmm. pass. They were not at the there same. There was too much dependence yes. on yes. one person. On one person. Mm -hmm. So we, we, w we would want to encourage mm -hmm. that everybody who is doing business be at the same playing level, mm -hmm. playground, playing um, the, the, the same level, mm -hmm. so that you're able to give your output, to give your best, mm -hmm. you know. Talk about impact. Mm -hmm. Talk about sustainability. Mm -hmm. Talk about visibility. Mm -hmm. Those three things are the key drivers to any woman or any youth mm -hmm. who is willing to do business in Kenya today. Wonderful. 
we have uh, Madam Mary in studio with us. White Five Four channel on Twitter, White Five Four underscore channel on Instagram, and White Five Four on Facebook is a way to interact with us. Your views, your comments, and your questions are invited. All right. So, uh, talking about women in business, and uh, one thing uh, that stood out for me was uh, the mentorship part. People yes. think mentorship, uh, I have to go and listen to a motivational speaker somewhere mm -hmm. and they'll have insight. What mm -hmm. are some of the ways people can get mentored at mm -hmm. home? Mm -hmm. Well, um, I talked about three things. Mm -hmm. Let me go back to that. Mm -hmm. Impact, sustainability, mm -hmm. and visibility. These are critical areas which people look up to. Mm -hmm. People want to impact on whatever business. You want it to be big. Mm -hmm. You want people to talk about your mm -hmm. business. You know, mm -hmm. you want to... You want to touch lives. You mm -hmm. want to touch lives. Mm -hmm. You want your business to be sustainable. Mm -hmm. And sustainability goes into financial flows. Mm -hmm. uh, how are you getting money to, 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 to start up uh, another business or mm -hmm. a, a franchise, a, a branch, you know. And um, visibility. Mm -hmm. Who knows about your business? Mm -hmm. What are you doing to get your business out? Mm -hmm. Those three things get you the mentors. Mm -hmm. Because if you want to look at impact, mm -hmm. look at somebody who has done a business that mm -hmm. has impacted lives. Mm -hmm. Not just anybody, because he has millions. Mm -hmm. You don't know what business he does. Mm -hmm. You must know that business. Mm -hmm. what, how has it impacted lives? Mm -hmm. yeah. So before you look at the money or because the net worth, you look, look at, at the business. Yeah, be before you look at what uh, the, the kind of money he has. Mm -hmm. I mean, a mentor is not just the person who has money. Mm -hmm. A mentor is that one person who can add value to your business. Mm -hmm. It could even be your peer. Mm -hmm. Yeah? Could be your mentor. A mentor is that one person who can walk with you mm -hmm. and tell you, ah, ah, don't go this route, go this route. Mm -hmm. And somebody who is also interested in what you're doing. Mm -hmm. But not very many people will get interested in what you're doing. Mm -hmm. You have to show them mm -hmm. what you can do. A mentor is somebody who can help you see the future in terms of sustainability. Mm -hmm. Out of the SMEs that start businesses today, mm -hmm. at the birth of the third, at the, the, the third year of their birthdays, mm -hmm. the businesses are collapsing. Mm -hmm because of lack of skills mm -hmm. on how to move forward. Mm -hmm. You need a mentor. That gets to a point where the business yes. has to grow now. It just goes mm -hmm. <laughs> naturally, mm -hmm. yeah? The third year is where you struggle so much mm -hmm. because the, 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 the honeymoon is over, mm -hmm. yeah? Uh -huh. You realize, oh, I have to pay taxes uh -huh. and more taxes. Uh -huh. I have to pay employees and mm -hmm. more. I have to, that's when to you get realize, a wider oh, market. Oh, yes, mm -hmm. a wider market. And you start grappling with everything and nothing. Mm -hmm. How many people, how many youths do you meet in town? And they tell you, I have a job, but I have a job. I have a job, I have a job. I have heard that so many times. How many times do you hear that? So many times. I have a job, I have a job, and then I have a job. I have a job. Vizuri, you will never jitayarisha mm -hmm. Vizuri. It's about sustainability of your business. Mm -hmm. What skills you have mm -hmm. to ensure that the business is mm -hmm. sustainable. Mm -hmm. And that comes through from the mentorship. Visibility, mm -hmm. I want to finish this because it's very key. Mm -hmm. And I've just said this this morning, that I have very many of the women who will call me up and tell me, I have the bags now, uh -huh. they've just landed. Uh -huh. I have the watches, they've just landed. I have the shoes, they've just landed. I buy so many of them. Mm -hmm. But how long can I buy from you? Mm -hmm. I'm your client. Mm -hmm. How long can you, can I sustain you? Mm -hmm. For a very short time. Mm -hmm. So you need visibility to ensure that you have a wider market, mm -hmm. to ensure that you keep networking with more people. That's the only way <clears throat> you can get market. And this is where policy and advocacy comes in especially the policies that are being formulated mm -hmm. at the county level. What are the MCAs formulating? What bills are they passing that are going to be pro the woman and the youth in terms of trading, inter-county trading? How can Kirinyaga and Nyeri trade without a lot of cess being collected along the way? Mm -hmm. Because that kills business, mm -hmm. yeah? 
a lot of taxes. You, 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 you've just bought a canter. You mm -hmm. want to transport uh, bananas from Meru to Nairobi. By the time you get to Nairobi, mm -hmm. my friend, the cost of that, those bananas. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so the counties are also interdependent. Yeah. Yeah. They depend on each other for business. To they be. should mm -hmm. depend on each other mm -hmm. for business. All and right. the legislation, the laws that are being passed mm -hmm. must be interlinked into that. Mm -hmm. Yes. So that we, as the, we become the beneficiaries mm -hmm. of the sin. Of the system yes. and of this devolution thing. So yes. for mentorship, the three things to look at, visibility, uh, impact, impact sustainability. and sustainability, visibility, uh, visibility yes. impact and sustainability. Yes. All right, so these things, if you look at them, these are the best ways to get your mentors if the businesses have uh, these three things. And you don't have to get a mentor on one-on-one. -on -one. Mm -hmm. I mean, I've told you, you could even have a mentor who is your peer, mm -hmm. the person who you work with on an everyday basis. Mm -hmm. There are those things mm -hmm. that they tell you. Not just somebody who will call you so that mm -hmm. you can go and use what you've already made. Right. It's somebody who will uh -huh. sit down with you. And now and you can even get them yeah. on Facebook and Instagram and social media and Everywhere. just watch that journey. I uh, mean, the world is a global market mm -hmm. today. All right. Yes. All right, moving forward. Uh, uh, for the Queens, it's very challenging. Uh, we are still, uh, we're still African. I know this term is cliche, but we're African and uh, cultures are still, we're still bound to culture. Mm -hmm. And women are the most oppressed when it comes mm. to cultural issues. You find that uh, women are scared of getting into business because yes. they are scared it might break the family because yes. men tend to be intimidated of women who are making something yes. of their own. How do yes. you manage uh, to empower these women and still not break families because you run things. the risk? Two things. Uh -huh. I lead from the front. Mm -hmm. I'm a great supporter of families. Mm -hmm. I have a husband, I have children, mm -hmm. as I've told you. So I'm a great supporter of the family unit. Mm -hmm. That is where your strength comes from every day. When I came here, I told my husband, I'm going to the station. Mm -hmm. <laughs> he was almost telling me, okay, can we discuss? What are you going to say? Mm -hmm. The support system mm -hmm. comes from the family mm -hmm. unit. Mm -hmm. Wow. <laughs> that was a surprise. <laughs> we are going to be talking about that. Yes. Uh, but the support system has to come for the family. Yes. Mm -hmm. So you have to agree on um, on how much you will stretch. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You agree. Mm -hmm. This is how much we will stretch. You know, and that helps you and gives you the strength mm -hmm. because when you move from one step to the other, then the encouragement must come. Mm -hmm. Number two. Um, our culture, our cultural values are anchored in the Constitution. It is very hard mm -hmm. to do away with it. Mm -hmm. You will not say we are going to change the Maasai mm -hmm. or the whoever. Today, we can't say we are going to do that today. In one day, mm -hmm. you can't. And why am I saying it's uh, anchored in the Constitution? With the devolved systems of government, mm -hmm. devolution, mm -hmm. you have the, 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 the one of the most powerful leaders mm -hmm. in, the, <laughs> in the villages, mm -hmm. the ward, mm -hmm. who is the MCA, mm -hmm. very powerful, mm -hmm. who is elected from the same community. Mm -hmm. You do not expect this person to change overnight, mm -hmm. simply because he has become a leader. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So this drives us into legislation mm -hmm. of values and also capacity building into the women and the youth and uh, so to speak the special groups. Mm -hmm. If you have to move forward, if the constitution talks about our cultures, mm -hmm. then you are the one to go forward mm -hmm. and revive all those positions. Mm -hmm. So that you get to the table mm -hmm. and change the legislation. And represent from the people. Represent the women. Mm -hmm. Represent the youth. Mm -hmm. Represent the PWDs from inside mm -hmm. on the table. Mm -hmm. So one Otherwise, thing you encourage. we might, uh -huh. we might um, complain too much from the periphery. Mm -hmm. And it won't change much mm -hmm. because that's our constitution. All right. Yeah? So we, we need women in the legislative houses we need for women things to MPs. change. We right. need women as MPs. Uh -huh. We need women as, uh, as MCAs. MCAs. I mean, women as senators, women as governors, and maybe yes. even a woman president sometime in the future. 
Oh, that would be glad. <laughs> All right, so this is you the way to change. <laughs> yes. This is the way to change. We have a picture on screen here, and uh, maybe you can paint the picture wow. for us in words Where now. Where did you get this? Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, it's in the open. Mm -hmm. uh, really, uh, this is a the part of the women in business. Mm -hmm. We were in support of the Beyond Zero campaign mm -hmm. uh, simply because of one thing: mm -hmm. that the initiative, Her mm -hmm. Excellency has started really mm. it's something to touch lives mm -hmm. in a deeper way one the women in the market are the ones who are suffering from mm -hmm. these issues mm -hmm. they are suffering from fissola mm -hmm. they are suffering from uh, fibroid they mm -hmm. are suffering from all those kinds of diseases mm -hmm. and it will take one person like her mm -hmm. to start the initiative mm -hmm. and instead of me starting another one i would mm -hmm. rather support her mm -hmm. you know with because you're stronger together. Yes, mm. we are stronger together. We can work mm. far mm -hmm. together. And our promise is, because we have women trainers, mm. they will give their services for free mm -hmm. to train on the women, on the cleanliness mm -hmm. in the market. You know, talk to them about health issues. Mm. Because some of these diseases come uh, with the uh, issues to do with the... Uh, and clean environment, talk to county governments to ensure that their markets and mm -hmm. the environments where most more women are trading mm -hmm. are clean. Mm -hmm. and, and, and also to ensure that um, they, they, they are taking insurance, mm -hmm. like NHIF. Mm -hmm. My sister mm -hmm. died of cancer. Mm -hmm. She did not even have an insurance. Mm -hmm. That really touched me. Mm -hmm. You know, it's painful. So it's really painful. Mm -hmm. So affordability of the same. Mm -hmm. Before we even say it is expensive, can mm -hmm. we first start, mm -hmm. and then we can go to negotiating mm -hmm. on the policy uh -huh. on the table to ensure that the government listens to. Right. So health is also a very important pillar when it comes to women in business. Every sector is extremely important mm -hmm. yes that's why you have decided uh, to partner uh, to work yes. or yes. support yes uh, i know most people would wonder okay wh what does health have to, has to do with uh -huh. uh, women in business mm -hmm. it is a key factor mm -hmm. if i'm sick today mm -hmm. i'm not able to go to the market mm -hmm. i'm not able to get the money mm -hmm. that i buy the milk with every mm -hmm. day wonderful so and it is a powerful. matter of mm -hmm. us taking care of ourselves to remain healthy if i was sick today i wouldn't be here mm -hmm. this morning so health is yes. number one key health is key yes. thank you very much for sharing and that with I us i thank uh -huh. his excellency because that's a pillar uh -huh. among the four pillars all right yeah and uh, yes, uh, thank you very much for whatever you're doing for the women and uh, empowering them and teaching them all these things. Um, the next big question is uh, when it comes to procurement uh, or government procurement, yes. uh, we had that 30% where you is had or you know. Okay, <laughs> we know. <laughs> it's public knowledge. <laughs> it's public knowledge that 30% should be allocated to the women and yes. the youth. Yes. And right. persons with disability. And persons with disability. Yes. All right. So you don't find so many women knowing yes. about this and so many youth, uh, youths knowing about this. Uh, so uh, maybe before we talk about uh, how the knowledge should be taken to the people, what are some of the procedures? Uh, somebody who's watching us right now mm -hmm. and has uh, things or goods they can sell to mm -hmm. some of these government organizations. And now we have the devolved government as well. Yes. We have the county governments. They can buy things mm -hmm. from their citizens. Mm -hmm. What are the procedures of getting some of these procurements or tenders? Um, uh, first and foremost, um uh, we are running a program project right mm -hmm. now called Women in Business Machine Learning. Mm -hmm. And uh, basically what I am, we are uh, pushing on is to mm -hmm. ensure that women are moving from informal businesses mm -hmm. to formal. Mm -hmm. Registering mm -hmm. your company mm -hmm. or your business mm -hmm. is very important. Mm -hmm. For you to benefit for any uh, anything in the government mm -hmm. because how are they going to identify you mm -hmm. if you're not if registered? you're not registered so and registering is, is one of them registering is the first step mm -hmm. thinking of what you want to do do you want mm -hmm. to supply mm -hmm. do you want to do construction mm -hmm. because all that is there mm -hmm. yeah so register your businesses mm -hmm. know when they the, the, the tenders are out mm -hmm. yeah keep checking from the offices mm -hmm. Then when the tenders are out, make sure you buy the tender papers, mm -hmm. fill in the tender papers. So the tenders will never be given to people without uh, registered businesses? How now? 
it will never happen. So the no. first thing is formalize your business, yes. register the business. Yes. That formalize is when you 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 you're able. That's a rallying mm -hmm. call. Mm -hmm. You must formalize your business. Mm -hmm. And if you're not able, mm -hmm. if you're looking at um, tender worth one million mm -hmm. shillings, and you know you're a young person or a woman, mm -hmm. you cannot afford that one million, then mm -hmm. get into a group. Mm -hmm. Register something when you're a group. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Register a company when you're 10 of you. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, register when you're 20 of you. Mm -hmm. And then make sure that you, you, you're compliant. Mm -hmm. Compliance is very key. All right. Have your PIN, have your tax, mm -hmm. have your CR12, mm -hmm. have you, uh, all that documentation. Mm -hmm. If it's construction, there are those documents that you need, that like the National Construction Authority mm -hmm. certificates, you know. Um, the, the, the PWD, the, the ACPO certificate, mm -hmm. is mandatory mm -hmm. if you have to go through the 30% mm -hmm. procurement rule. All right. So those are some of the documentations. And compliance uh, certificates that you require mm -hmm. then you need to know that uh, the tender is up, um, is out most of the counties and most of the government institutions they'll always put it in the papers mm -hmm. they'll always put it in their websites mm -hmm. they'll always so it's up to you mm -hmm. go to the websites uh -huh. go to the papers go check what uh -huh. is there the tenders are not going to come even to knock even in some of the organizations like in the groups we have whatsapp groups for women in business and mm -hmm. the youths we usually post them there the tenders. Mm -hmm. we, we, we are always very key. Mm -hmm. we are, they are those people who are actually working hard 24-7 to just ensure the information mm -hmm. is out there. Mm -hmm. uh, one key thing when you, when you tender, um, ensure that you take it back in time. Mm -hmm. When the tender is being opened, please be there. Mm -hmm. Don't say, I, I, I pushed my papers and I left them there. Mm -hmm. Then you'll just hear, so and so was given the tender, then mm -hmm. you start complaining. So Where aggression is also another key yeah. factor. Where were you? Mm -hmm. Go and stand there. And if you really think that they have unfairly been mm -hmm. awarded that mm -hmm. tender, you have the authority to query. Mm -hmm. And you have institutions like PPO where you can um, write to them mm -hmm. or go to the institution mm -hmm. and, 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 and oppose what has been mm -hmm. the, um, done. Mm -hmm. and. Um, there are also other institutions mm -hmm. that uh, that, um, uh, that if you think it is a corruption uh, mm -hmm. thing, then there's the anti-corruption agency. Mm -hmm. You can't talk to them. There's the police. Mm -hmm. There are enough institutions mm -hmm. where you can take your problems. Sorry. But when you stand out there and you start shouting, who is going to hear you? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So you have to also play your part. Play your part. And your part is formalizing your business, yes. making sure you look out for the tenders and you apply for them yes. and be there when they're being... And I am not saying that mm -hmm. the government is a clean slate. Mm -hmm. They have their shares of challenges, mm -hmm. which we all know. Mm -hmm. So it's also up to us who, have, who are in organizations like women in business mm -hmm. to ensure that we advocate for these issues mm -hmm. in a better manner. Mm -hmm. Because advocacy does not mean fighting. Mm -hmm. It's about sitting on the table mm -hmm. and agreeing mm -hmm. and telling them, hey, Mm -hmm. The constitution yeah. says this, yes. and this is what you guys yes. done, and we should do this Absolutely. moving forward. That's why advocacy is one of the pillars for yes. women in business. Yes, it's very mm -hmm. white five four channel on Twitter, white five four underscore channel on Instagram, and white five four on Facebook. Your views, your comments, and your questions are invited. Please direct them to me or our guest, uh, Madam Mary, the chairman of women in business so as we wrap this up yes so we have uh, so many uh, motivational speakers uh, masquerading or moving around and telling people ah, if you want to make it in business you have to do this do this do that and that but you don't find them owning even a business <laughs> but you are different in this case you run your own uh, school that is uh, saint patrick premier school and the motto is character <laughs> attitude and excellence <laughs> so maybe you can tell us uh how did this start and when did this start wow first huh. and foremost i don't even know whether i'm a motivation speaker <laughs> <laughs> but there's a lot of people who have i don't been think i i pass for that <laughs> But people have been motivated by you. For me, I, 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 I just talk and mm -hmm. I think... People get motivated I, in the process. I, I, I talk from experience. Mm -hmm. I don't talk outside what I have mm -hmm. not done. And all these things that I'm talking about is what I have gone through. Mm -hmm. I've seen myself going through the, 
the procurement procedures. Mm -hmm. I've seen myself having not been paid for that job, which is a very, that's why I told you the mm -hmm. government has its share. You mm -hmm. had the president the other day mm -hmm. giving an order, mm -hmm. an executive order, uh, about the payments for suppliers. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's, that's something that has killed businesses. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and most people have not been paid for what they have already supplied. Mm -hmm. So, um, back to St. Petro Premier School. Mm -hmm. um, it's one of the greatest schools in Kenya, too. Mm -hmm. and uh, I pride in saying that uh, we are not shy about mm -hmm. molding the children mm -hmm. and bringing them up in the best character, mm -hmm. the best attitude mm -hmm. for excellence, mm -hmm. because those are key issues. Mm -hmm. We've seen children who are going through trauma because mm -hmm. of parent separation, kids going through trauma because of upbringing, you know, and uh, that really can be shaped in school in collaboration education learning is about being in school mm -hmm. and learning your books and passing your grades but education is a tripartite mm -hmm. it's about the child a willing child a supporting parent mm -hmm. and a working institution institution All right. it's a tripartite mm -hmm. it can't work without those three mm -hmm. yeah willing child supporting willing parent. child Supporting parent, uh -huh. parents and um, a, working a working institution. Yes. All right. So, uh, so Petro really, mm -hmm. Saint Petro stands for that mm -hmm. education. Mm -hmm. We don't just learn; mm -hmm. we get educated. Mm -hmm. And the starting of that is you have to see that we are compliant mm -hmm. with every other sec section, mm -hmm. compliant including the uh, the the, uh, the competence-based curriculum. Mm -hmm. Our teachers have very compliant. Mm -hmm. That um, was part of our intro today. Our and uh, yes, <laughs> yes I'll, I'll take you short of it because yes. uh, we are kind of running out of time. Yes. And we saw the CS of education, Professor Magoa, uh, yes. talking to the to, to the NAT officials, not to yes. politicize uh, this process. Mm -hmm. So you say you're compliant to the to the new system mm -hmm. that is trying to be, yes. that is being introduced. All right, so one of the complaints, uh, the NAT's complaints, were that uh, the training process uh, for teachers mm -hmm. is not, uh, there's a lot of incompetence when it comes to the training and uh, the government is not, is not doing enough as much as they should be doing. And I'm guessing you get your teachers from the same institutions mm -hmm. that uh, NAT got their teachers from. So what is different as you take in your teachers? You know, um, as human beings, sometimes when you point at somebody, you must look at their four fingers pointing mm -hmm. at you. So what are you doing to ensure that it is working? Mm -hmm. This is a new system mm -hmm. to everybody, including the government. Mm -hmm. So why are you blaming the government and not doing your part? And we are all about progress. And we are all about success. Mm -hmm. We are all about progress. Mm -hmm. They are in-house, for me, I'm in the private sector. Mm -hmm. And uh, most of the time you find that we have trainings for the teachers mm -hmm. specifically. And the government is doing the same, by the way. Mm -hmm. it's, it's not just happening in the private sector. We mm -hmm. are actually copying mm -hmm. from what the government mm -hmm. has. Stipulated. The government makes the template? Yes. And then you follow. And, and, and we push it. Uh -huh. It's how fast you do it, mm -hmm. you see? So in, in, in essence, I would really say that uh, this requires for the NAT officials mm -hmm. to also show the, 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 what is it that they are doing mm -hmm. to ensure that the teachers are compliant. If the government has created a seminar, some, mm -hmm. and you find some teachers have failed to go. Mm -hmm. Is it still the government? <laughs> it's not the government's work. <laughs> yeah. right. It is you, the NAT, who should be mobilizing your mm -hmm. teachers to get compliant, obviously. Mm -hmm. After all, this is a personal gain. Mm -hmm. yeah? When I am compliant, mm -hmm. or when, when I have the skills for the CBC, mm -hmm. it is me who is gaining. If I move from one school to the other, right. I don't think I'll leave that. So we should not politicize this at we the expense of the, of the children? If anything, I have seen it assisting the kids more. Right. These days, even my children who are in class three, mm -hmm. I do the homework with them mm -hmm. because they will come with projects. Mm -hmm. I had the word project when I was in college. <laughs> but now they are <laughs> My children right. are coming and telling me, we come and do the project. We have to wrap this up. And, <laughs> but you agree with this new system for sure. All right, so uh, on our Facebook, we have penned a question today. Uh, what is one of the weirdest uh, things you have seen somebody do to make money? Something that you saw and said, wow, how can somebody make money from this? I wish I thought of this. <laughs> I think I haven't come across so any of that, mm -hmm. maybe. <laughs> no, <laughs> no, what? None of us ever. <laughs>
<laughs> All right, even the people who get paid for posting things on on Instagram oh. has never surprised you. <laughs> the bloggers. The bloggers. I mean, mean. I, I've just said mm -hmm. the the world is becoming a global village. Mm -hmm. Things are is, happening so yeah, fast. Yeah, things are happening so fast, mm -hmm. and that's where we are moving. Mm -hmm. Really, if you are a vil, vil blogger mm -hmm. or blogger mm -hmm. or whatever, mm -hmm. yeah, or I mean. Mm -hmm. It's up to you. It's, up to it's you. your passion. All right. It's How not can weird. They find women on business <laughs> on social media just in case they'd like to be part of the movement. Yes. When well, your camera is number four. Sorry. How can they find women on bus uh -huh. women in business? Women in business Kenya on mm -hmm. Facebook. Women in business Kenya mm -hmm. on um, Instagram mm -hmm. and at WIB Kenya mm -hmm. on Twitter. All right. And mine, uh -huh. at Modoni Kenya. All right. Thank you very Twitter. much, Modoni, for coming through to us in the morning. We appreciate you so much for what you're doing for the women and I've uh, to, to the country at large. Yes, we have come to the end of this. Alex, tell us something lined up for you. Don't go nowhere. Don't touch that down. Okay. Mm -hmm. Gosh. <laughs> I've never thought about that. <laughs> that was the weirdest thing.